Oh, hey, it's you. I'm Sal, your friend. We have just successfully finished our first season on my other channel, Salvidora. Now that it's all wrapped up, we prepared something new. This time, it's about you. We're gonna be talking about anything under the sun. Love, dating, relationships, spirituality. So I hope you join me in my new set, my other channel, and I'll see you there. Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. I'm excited, are you guys excited? Are we ready? <laughs> Are we ready to rumble? That's how our soulmate is, right? Our connection, our romantic connection, it's always a rumble. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you guys want to have a good laugh about it, meet me in Los Angeles. It's this coming third week of November. I want to see everybody there so we can all have a good laugh, a good tea, okay? So I want to see you in the meetup. There's tickets right there if it's available. And if it's not available, there's a lot of people rambling about it already. All right, so that's for the Capricorn. Um, let's see now what's going on with you guys. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is the dailies. Is the dailies. Let's see what's up with the Capricorn. Let's see here. Capricorn. The three of pentacles, okay, of course. Busy bee, okay. Have a project here, working on your coins. This is shedding light on your coins, by the way. Do you know that this is down? Sorry, my, my, my knees is just itchy, okay. Oh, that's which you rule the knees, you do know that, right? 10th house is the knees, okay. Um, and this one, the forehead, is ruled by people who has the sun in the first house, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Jupiter. Okay. You know that how we are shaped is how um, planets affect us. Okay. So, um, three of pentacles here, how we are shaped. <laughs> what or <are> what? <laughs> A play doh cell. <laughs> how we look. Okay. <laughs> three of pentacles. The only pentacle that is not yellow. Mm, you know. You see? You see that one? You know that, right? Okay. Because it needs to be shed light on. This is a work in progress, consulting and learning. The pedestal over here is showing that you are not yet there, but you're going to be, provided that you listen. I feel like it's more work-related, like you could be getting instruction. There's also an energy here where there will be progress, um, but I, I sense here it's more of the progress comes later on. About work. I like this work. Now, it's my favorite card for relationship because then it shows that both of you are working on the connection. Mm -hmm. Both are willing. Ten of Wands to share the labor. This is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. it takes a lot of work. So I sense you like um, you guys can be talking about you know things on how to end this burdening situation here. This. I, if this person does not work with you, they're going to give up, though. 
Because you, if, if you're giving this person a lot of instruction there, mm-hmm. and you're basically saying to this person, you know, it's like, this is this person, you know, how to be, you know, to be in a relationship, this and that, because it's like, there's a lot of things. And for this person, it's like, oh, oh, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of things that, you know, either you're asking from them and they feel pressured also. Because this is very, very pressuring. It was once right there. I'm hearing the word Mike. Mike is always everywhere. Who's Mike? Oh, Mike. Mm-hmm. Leona. Leona? Okay. Maybe a Leo, but Leona. Uh-huh. Whatever. Luna. <laughs> Leona. Leona. <laughs> Leo. Luna. Oh my God. Sometimes I think I'm an intuitive. <laughs> Luna. Okay. So that can be your name. Wow. Okay. Um, this is your. I was sensing the seventh house, yes, uh, Capricorn, which means your, your the Cancerian energy. Um, this is a lot of work also at home, like home wise. Your home requires a lot of fixing, a lot of attention with regards to your mom. Also, chances are they need you right now. Family needs you, and you're busy at work. Or this again, this can be that person's energy. This is this is number three, so you know it's like if you're dealing with a Pisces, you're trying to make a good decision out of the situation, and then the Leo that you're dealing with is having hard time identifying themselves. I mean, did they lost face, or they could probably lost face with you? Yeah, I, I see that here also. What? Oh, I fell asleep. No kidding. <laughs> Let me shuffle. <laughs> you guys are so serious. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're still there. Okay. Let's see. There we go. No, they want one more. Oh, wow. Oh. Ten of coins! Money matters. Family. Hmm. Whatever burden, I feel like it's going to come to fruition here. I told you later on, three of pentacles and you get the ten of pentacles. If it's work, promotion, career, finances right here, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. <laughs> get it, Capricorn. I don't care. Just get the damn coins. We need the coins. Mm. Got money on my mind. Ten of pentacles. And it's coming. It's a windfall, I feel. Because you work hard. You put an effort here. All the golden coins are coming. We need those get I we need the coins. I don't care. Okay? Now, this is also about relationship that goes in progress later on. A business venture that leads to success but requires a lot of hard work. Credit card is the moon, okay? Cash flow is moon because it's always going. It never stays. That's the thing. So you need to invest. If it's a relationship, you need to invest in this relationship and at, you know, by the end of the day, you know, it's like um a promise of stability here. But this is you. This is number 10. Natural 10th house. Meaning stability is coming. Whip! Come on. Capricorn. We need this. Okay? Windfall, I told you. Will of Fortune. With a 10 of Pentacles. Someone is someone's going to get something here. I play the Lotto over here. <laughs> I go to Vegas. No, no. With a Wheel of Fortune here shows financial progress with, with, it's like you're gonna get everything. Kinda just everything. <laughs> Virgo got it good also. The full card, traveling, a new beginning, everything that you have wished for, I feel like it's coming to fruition. Like, well not just wish, everything that you have worked hard for. You work hard, you put in the time, you invested, you put your energy, and then, you know, this is a person coming towards you. They're traveling at the same time. With a full card also shows here. Um, it's like they're ready. Someone is ready to be with you. Mm -hmm. They're ready. Second chances, of course, is here. Coming around full circle. The hangman, that's the delay. That's the Pisces, which I told you already. And it's Pisces also. I know other people call this the Aries. I'm not sure why. You don't know. 
you're already enlightened, you already know what's the meaning of this connection. Now, this is the delay. The delay is, you know, for you to sort your feelings here right now. Um, there's a lot of um, attention also. You guys are talking about, the like, if you're married, the coins of your spouse, you know. You guys are discussing that. Money matters in family, okay? Eight of Cups. Where is this going? So, well, this is that person coming around. So, whoever has left you, you have eight, eight. So, it's a cycle. This person has done this how many times? They keep going around, around. Mm -hmm. This is finality also, the hangman. So, I feel like if this person has been in and out with your life, now is the, this is the last time. Mm -hmm. The last time. Either that or next time they're Burger King. They're not in and out anymore. Mm -hmm. So this is our Shake Shack. <laughs> this is the last time that this person is going to do this. Because the next time that they come around, you know, it's like things are going to be stable. Of course, there are red flags that you have to consider with the fool. The red flag, I feel, is the burden that this person carries with them. Can be like you, you know, it's like you're married to them or you're partnered with them, but the whole family is like you're, you know, like part of it. Because this is a family here. So congratulations, it's still going to be good here. The only thing here with the Eight of Cups, I feel like whoever has left is coming back. They're emotionally drained when they said that because they're tired of their relationship or they're just tired, period. They're just exhausted, period. And they couldn't give anything anymore. Okay? So positive. All right, Capricorn. So link down there in the description box for the extended reading. You have to click the description box and then it's there's a link. You have to click and then there you can find it. All right, so for people who are wondering. Thank you very much, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you on the other side. I'll see you in the meetup. Bye, guys. But you already figured out because the King of Swords is very smart. So you already figure out how to execute this. Three of Cups, reunion, reconciliation, and happiness is, you know, it's just... It's coming towards you. It's a work in progress with regards to the emotional contentment, of course.